Right, I thought I'd give you an update on the Tesla build. I've been gathering some parts and something that's really important about this particular Tesla build is I'm gonna be modifying the car using used parts to make it greener and also to save a bit of money because if you didn't know, I'm doing an EV conversion on a TVR and it ain't cheap, I can tell you. Right, I'll open the garage, show you some bits that I've got already and some stuff that's just arrived in the post. I've arrived back from work, gone into a special room because this looks quite exciting. It's a box for a start. Ooh, it says lithium batteries on it. I wonder what that is. Not sure. So I'm going to put you down here and we'll open it together. Ooh, it's not lithium batteries, is it? Winner. Should we go and try them on? Got to go and try them on now, haven't we? I think I need to clean them. I think I need to clean them first. They're a bit dirty. Right. These springs here were kindly delivered to me from um, fully charged uh, live um, by Cleveland EV. So thank you to uh, Matt and the team for that. And um, that was from uh, someone who had them on his car that he was using. Uh, for a track car and he's upgraded to TiVo's um, fully adjustable suspension um, So yeah, I'm interested to see how he gets on with that. That's Joe from the video that I did uh, EV only track day. His was the wrapped Tesla Model 3. Apart from it's been lowered, so it's only got different springs on. Right. Um, what sort of springs are they on the Ibac springs? Ibac springs. springs. Do you, how much did it lower uh, it by? About 25 to 30 mil. Okay. Across the whole car. Yeah. Um, so I've got the Ibac lowering springs which is going to drop the car a bit so from the current ride height which will look a lot better um, so I've picked those up not fitted yet um, so I think we'll go to the charge heads garage for that one um, and something that has arrived in the post with these now um, I'm kind of they're a bit wet because I've just given them a clean uh, but something that um, I'm still not sure about are the wheels now I thought for now I'm going to take the aero caps off and um, decide uh, decide what I'm going to do about the wheels. Now, as you can probably tell, the wheels are a bit knackered. Uh, they've been curved a few times, and I'll be honest, I might have curved a couple uh, even since having it, and also my missus. Um, you know, I used to think I was good at not curving wheels, but yeah, I have curved, yeah, definitely one, and the missus has curved a couple. Um, so at the moment, I was thinking about getting these, let me just uh, drop you here, Boop. there we go. So at the moment I was thinking about popping these on, because I know everyone takes these off um, and, and you know either does these or does the wheels, um, the centre caps and then the uh, covers over the trims. I prefer these personally, that's why I've got them. Um, 25 quid delivered, Facebook Marketplace, bargain, because knew they are £56 off uh, Tesla. Um, so bargain and use, so greener. Um, so pop those on. They look much better actually. Let me just... Uh... So yeah, much better than... Yeah, that looks better, much better. But I've got a bit of an idea. So what I'm thinking is spraying these because I thought about increasing the size of these wheels because you know the normal thing to do on Tesla, especially in America, is big wheels, 20s or 19s, nice and wide, up to 10 inches which you can get on these um, and then air suspension, drop it on the deck, you know. But um, I'm a little bit old school. I'm not really into that. I'm more about um, something that's going to be actually drivable, uh, something that's going to hold the road a bit better. And also, I mean, the roads are, they're fucked, I mean. So um, I don't really want to be uh, putting any low profile tires on. You know, you know and I know, low profile, the amount of potholes around everywhere, especially where I live, What's the point? You're gonna break a wheel, you naff up the car. So I've been looking at a few options. Option one is this, and just keep it fairly standard looking. But I wanna stand out a bit more, so I'm either thinking spraying the wheels, refurb them, um, or get some slightly different wheels in the same size, or I'm thinking about doing something with these, make it stand out a bit more. 
um, also with the chrome. Let's let's go to the chrome. Who likes chrome? I don't like chrome. No one likes chrome. So obviously it's got chrome where the mirrors are, all the way around the windows, door handles, and on here. Now I'm not a fan, not a fan of chrome, but I don't want it to do it black because every other late plate Tesla has got black so it just looks the same so I'm going to be trialing a few things um, I might even put up a um, like a, a like a voting thing on YouTube to see what people think but yeah let's keep keep an eye out for that um, let me show you the other bits so also in the post arrived today was some Tesla paint because there's a few stone chip bits that I need to sort out um, Another thing that I've ordered, which I managed to get used, was a, it's just in there, I won't pull it out fully, is the wireless phone charger. And also I've got the wireless, um, wireless, I've also got the um, wheel spacers as well. Um, so, so far, springs to fit, spacers, I'm putting the wheel caps on now, and I'll do some touch-ups once the car is clean. Um, another thing, that I'm going to be doing to the car is I'm going to be fitting some new pads. I'm obviously not going to get used pads. Um, I'm, I've been contacted. I've contacted a few people actually. So you've got Unplugged for uh, Thorny Motorsport for Unplugged. Then you've got TDI um, Performance. I think it is. They've got Mountain Pass Performance parts. Um, those are both quite expensive. So I spoke to John at TiVo. He's got some. Um, some Brembo upgrades and I'm going to go for those because they're good value I'm all about value me uh, of the my EV conversion which is not good value at all let's be honest um, so yeah I need to make up the value elsewhere but I found that the brakes aren't that great and also I hear and this is from my unplugged video that I did John Thorny recommended upgrading the brake fluid so I'm going to do that as well um, so yeah we're on the path um, like I said, I'm using used parts to make it greener and it's, it's a lot more fun because I could just go on Amazon and go, yeah, uh, buy the spoiler, buy the splitter, buy all these things, they'd arrive, get them fitted. I mean, where's the fun in that? You know, the fact that you're waiting, you're trying to find bits and you get a better deal and it's greener. You know, no negatives as far as I can tell. Um, also, uh, John's Tesla Model S that I did a video on when it fully charged live his missus had a uh, rear spoiler and uh, I've done a deal with him, although I need to go and collect it and he lives a bit of distance, so that might take a bit of time to come through. Um, I have got other things going on as well. Um, anything that um, you guys think that I, is a must have, please let me know. Uh, there is also something that I've seen, which is pretty cool. Let me show you the video now. So those uh, caps, they go over the wheels here. There's only one problem with those discs. They're kind of cool, I like them, because you can get you know, keep with the bigger profile, it stands out. They're really expensive. And I don't think I'm gonna find any used ones anytime soon. So if someone has got some used ones and they don't like them, please let me know, because um, even I'll probably spray them do my own design. Um, but that's where I'm at so far. Um, the next stage will be fitting these parts, but uh, I'm going to fit these other caps now, make these look a bit more aesthetically pleasing, and uh, like I said, I'm going to be doing something with these bad boys. But I will see you for the next episode to go through the next stage. See you later.